So what's up friend, my name is Ben and today I'll be doing a video on the HSC One M9 and its uh, hidden features, tips and tricks uh, so you can get the most out of this phone. Now most of the people are familiar with uh, a few of these things uh, if they are uh, using their device like um, on a day-to-day -day basis and really trying to experiment with it but if you're just a basic user and don't dig into the settings too much this will be a pretty uh, pretty useful video for you guys. Uh, so the first thing that we'll, I will talk about is the blink feed. As you know, here's the blink feed. It's pretty much um, your notifications, the news uh, from your social media and all that. And in my opinion, blink feed is really annoying because I, I already have the notification bar and I just don't use it. Um, and what you can do to remove it is just swipe to the uh, home screen where there's a blank space and just hold it um, then click um, manage home screen pages go to the blink feed and just click remove and that's pretty much it there's no blink feed uh, and if you want to re-add it just go over here again manage home screen pages and add blink feed uh, so yeah that's pretty much how you remove blink feed now um, if you guys want to add the widgets all you have to do is just um, swipe like so and all the widgets will pop up so you can choose uh, from the menu where you can just search them over here so it's really easy you just pinch in and here are all your widgets now um, as you see um, has this little I don't know menu thingy and it pretty much tracks what apps you use when you're at home, at work, or when you're just outside. Um, and it pretty much sorts this app into three different categories. So if you just click here, you have home, out, and then work. So you can just uh, select what apps do you want. Uh, uh, so we'll just say I'm at work and the apps will change and you can also customize them. So they change, uh, so they change how you want them. Um, and yeah, in my opinion, this is really useful, and I really like this feature. Um, another thing is the multitasking. If I just go and open up the multitasking, um, here it is. And if I just click three little dots here, I have running apps and settings. In, and if I just jump into settings, I have the screen pinning, which is really useful. Um, so you can pretty much pin the app. Um, so uh, if if you just give a phone to someone, you pin the app so they can't go out of the app, um, and only you you know how to how to get out. So you just um, turned on uh, and oh, touch the pin icon, and to get to get out of the, I I'm pretty sure you just have to hold the back icon and the multitasking icon. But don't quote me that I'm not too sure. Um, and yeah, you can also. Um, change the layout so you have the card view and the grid, grid view so you have the card view over here I really like this view uh, it is much better but um, I'm not too sure I mean you, you don't have the close all button here so I just change it change it back okay um, another thing is uh, that bugs me uh, if the apps aren't sorted by the alphabetical order and what you can do is just open up your home your app drawer, click on the apps and just you can um, arrange them uh, however you want. You can just uh, arrange them in the alphabetical order or you can just um, arrange them by most recent. So the latest installs, um, how you use them and stuff like that. Now, if we just open up the camera real, real quick, uh, let me just rearrange them alphabetical camera mm, where is it okay so here's the camera and what I can do now is just click these little dots for settings and go into settings and over here I, ca I have all these little uh, these different settings I hope you guys can see that um, so you have the general settings volume button options so you can just choose over here what you want the buttons to do so the volume buttons pretty much you can uh, change the volume when it, while you're in camera you can click the capture 
should be pretty much take a picture. Yeah. Okay. And what you can also do is just click over here, uh, go back, general settings, volume. You can also zoom in, which is also quite useful. So you pretty much zoom in. You accidentally lock your phone and you, of course, can zoom out. Which is also really cool. Now another cool thing that I really like is the um, the fact that you can add teams. Now all you have to do is just open up the teams app. I have already made a video on this so I'm not going to show you again. But I'll link the video in the description. So what you can pretty much do is team the font, the status bar, um, the icons, the button layout, everything. Pretty much everything. And, and this is really cool actually. I didn't uh, notice this in the previous version of the HTC One M. Um, uh, and yeah, it's really uh, useful feature and I really like it. Uh, you can also personalize your phone quite a bit. So let me just jump into settings. You just have to go into settings, personalize, change navigation buttons. And these are navigation buttons or these buttons down here. So you, first you can rearrange them. So let's just click done and the, uh, the triangle will be here. Okay, first you can rearrange them. Um, and then you can also turn off screen. Done. And then I have this, this button here. And if I just click here, the screen will turn off. Which is pretty insane in my opinion. I would like the fact that you can customize all that. Um, up next, uh, you can also customize the accent color. So let's just click go to personalize, um, change accent colors, and have all these different colors here. So you have the default, you have the tilt, and you can just notice the colors change change color here. This is still my favorite, so yeah, I'll just leave that. Um, if we just go into display mode. Uh, in the winter time when you're using gloves and you don't if you don't have the touch screen gloves you can always turn on the glove mode and what this will do is pretty much just make the screen much more sensitive to the uh, to the touch so it will recognize you uh, your uh, um, your uh, your touch with hands much better um, and yeah that's pretty much the glove mode uh, and it's really useful uh, you also have the option to um, to pretty much set different uh, gestures or actions so you can double tap to wake up and sleep which is pretty useful um, double tap to wake up then you can swipe down to turn on the um, to turn on voice dialing swipe up to unlock swipe left to launch uh, uh, widget panel and all these different features so when the screen is off, pick up your phone and push the rotation and swipe up to unlock. So let's just try that real quick. Boom. Works really nice and I really like these features. And to be honest, I'm not a big fan of skins, but I really miss that on the Nexus. Uh, so that's pretty much it for this video guys. I really hope you enjoyed it It was a bit of a longer video, but I really enjoyed making it because I love all these hidden features and all that so if you enjoyed this video don't forget to drop this video a like comment down below with your thoughts and if there are any other features that you want me to look at and maybe make a, the second part of this video so just let me know about that uh, and anyway if you enjoyed it then make sure to subscribe and i'll see you all in the next video